This week in West Virginia, the Tourism Office and the West Virginia Trucking Association announced a new initiative that includes placing almost heaven ads on large box and semi trucks across the state and country. We're absolutely sending our message all over God's Green Acres. So again, I can't thank you, thank you enough. Governor Justice announced that May revenue collections resulted in a $46.4 million surplus. The governor also announced that expedited efforts to fix Chaplin Hill Road, the main road into the rapidly expanding Milan Park near Morgantown, are now underway, and announced a new list of businesses moving into the Westridge Business and Retail Park just west of Morgantown. You know, a thousand acre project right off the interstate. You know, Westridge has, I guess, been in the, in the infancy, and now it's getting ready to explode. And, <clears throat> you got to be so proud. I mean, I commend all those that are a part of this in every way. The West Virginia Division of Corrections and Rehabilitation hosted a major hiring event in Elkins as they work to fill vacancies across the entire state. The WVSSAC and State Department of Education announced a new effort to fight the opioid epidemic. And West Virginia's free fishing days will take place this Saturday and Sunday. You can find more information on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.